Welcome back to Just Great Food. Today, we're going to be giving you a great dish that you can make at home is real easy. It's roasted Cornish game hen with shallots, lemon thyme, rosemary, a little bit of lemon and balsamic, and we're gonna just set it in the oven and let it roast real nice, and we're going to make a cornbread dressing to put underneath of it, and man, the two pairings together are going to be absolutely phenomenal to your palate and fill your stomach full of just great food. So we're going to show you how to make an absolutely delicious cornbread dressing. We don't ever let anything go to waste at Four Seasons, so we take our day-old cornbread and we cube it up, and we're going to be mixing it with some celery, some onions, a little salt and pepper, some roasted chicken stock, and some fresh lemon thyme. So please, give me a moment and let me show you how we're going to do it. So we're getting ready to prepare our cornbread dressing with celery and onions, and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to cube our cornbread and just cut it into nice cubes, just straight down the nice big batons and turn them all, line them up, cut them into nice big cubes. Now this is our jalapeno cheddar cornbread we make at the restaurant. So we're just going to take that, we're going to slide it right into our bowl here. And we've got some celery and onions that we sweat off and a little bit of brown butter. We're going to add those to the bowl. Man, if you could smell that celery and onions and brown butter, boy, it's absolutely delicious. Next, we're going to season it with a little bit of salt and fresh ground pepper. You got to remember, you don't want to get too much seasoning in there because the cornbread already has some seasoning in it. Our lemon thyme is going in. At this point, we're going to give it a little toss. Then we're going to add our chicken stock. Give that a little toss. And you want to get it moist, but you want to leave the cornbread a little bit dry because it will soak up the flavor of everything. And go ahead and beat the stuffings out of your egg before you put it in there. Put your egg in there. Let's give that a nice stir. And then for a little extra richness, we're going to put some heavy cream in there. That's going to smooth this out bring everything together and as you can see it is a little bit liquidy but it will start to break down and it all gathered together and set up nicely to go underneath of our roasted Cornish game head. Take your pie plate and all you're going to do is pour everything right into that pie plate. get all that good stuff in there. Well, you got a lot of flavors working in there. Spread it out so all the liquid, it liquid is evenly dispersed. Like I said, you don't want to break up your cornbread too much because the egg is going to set around it. Wipe the edge of your pie plate so you don't have a lot of scorch on there. And we're going to be putting it into a nice warm oven, about 350 degrees convection or 400 degrees conventional. This won't take about 15 to 20 minutes maybe to set and it'll be ready to go. So we're going to be taking our Cornish game hen and we're going to be preparing to roast it over top of shallots with some fresh herbs, balsamic and lemon, 
in with our cornbread dressing. They should finish up right about the same time. So we're going to French the Cornish game hen. That means we're going to take the wing tips off and we're going to take the knuckles off from where the feet were at. It gives it a nice clean look once it's done roasting. So here we go. Take a nice sharp knife and using the heel, because that's the sharpest part of your knife, and we're just going to take the wing tips off, but we're not going to throw them away. We're going to put them in the bottom of the roasting pan. Then we're going to turn it over because this is the easiest way to take off the knuckles. Just behind it, and give it a good sharp wrap, it comes right off. Repeat, a good sharp wrap, and it comes right off. Now, we're going to be taking, we're trying to work neat and clean here. We're going to be taking salt, fresh ground pepper, and seasoning the inside. We're going to take a sprig of rosemary. We're going to insert that. We're going to take a little sprig of lemon thyme. We're going to insert that. Then we're going to take our largest shallot and we're going to close up the cavity a little bit and that'll help keep the interior nice and juicy and moist while it's roasting. We're going to take a little salt and pepper on the outside. Make sure that you season it well. That skin's going to be nice and crispy when it comes out. And now we're going to be mixing with liquids, everything else. So we're going to move our cutting board out of the way. We're going to finish seasoning the outside with salt and pepper. Of course, we've got to jam that shallot back in there. Then we're going to take some balsamic vinegar. You notice I'm pouring it into my hand onto the bird. Some fresh lemon juice, fresh squeezed. You don't need a lot of this because the lemon juice contains a lot of sugar and it's going to really help to brown that skin up nicely. Toss it around a few times. It's well coated. We're going to take the rest of our shallots right here and we're going to put them. We're going to put the shallots onto the roasting pan. We're trying to create a nice little bed for the Cornish game hen to rest upon. Then we're going to take our Cornish game hen. We're going to sit it right on top, just like so. And then we're going to pour the residual liquid over the top. And we're getting ready to fire this into a nice hot oven. And once we fire it, we're getting ready to fire our Cornish game hen into a nice hot oven for about 20 minutes. You want to set a timer because it has to roast the skin and then you need to slow it down so you don't overcook your cornbread dressing.
So we're going to be finishing off our roasted shallot lemon balsamic Cornish game hen on top of the stove with a little bit of slurry made with flour, balsamic vinegar, lemon juice, and some fresh herbs. That we're going to just put in our little pan right here. Some fresh herbs, rosemary, some lemon thyme, freshly stripped off the branches here. We're turning the heat on, bring it up to a nice hard simmer. Man, does that smell delicious. We're going to take a little bit of lemon juice, put it in our flour, a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Now normally people would make a slurry with water. We're not doing that, we're just going to stir it with our fingers, make sure it gets nice and smooth while this nice roasted shallot, chick, uh, roasted shallot Cornish game hen stock is coming up to temperature. Put a little heat to it. As you can see, we have a nice hard simmer. And you just want to shake the slurry through and it'll thicken that sauce rather nicely. This is the ultimate pan juices. And then we're going to walk over and drizzle it over our Cornish game. Thanks for joining us today on Just Great Food with our roasted Cornish game hen and shallots and balsamic, a little bit of lemon, and this beautiful cornbread dressing and that pan juice that we made from all those roasted juices. And look, if you tried this, please let us know by leaving a comment below how it came out. If you did not try it, as always, the week following this upload at Four Seasons in Pensacola, Florida, we'll be selling this dish so you can come down and try it out there. And look, if you have any comments or suggestions of things that we could cook for you in the future, please let us know. Hit that email and subscribe button, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time on Just Great Food.